Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and Obama has nominated somebody that the media is portraying as, most of the media is portraying as a uh, moderate, a centrist, the same old song and dance routine. His name is Merrick Garland, most of you have probably heard of him by now. <clears throat> Merrick Garland is an avowed enemy of the Second Amendment. Despite how they uh, have portrayed him, Garland has a long record, among other things, that leads to the conclusion that he would vote to reverse one of Justice Scalia's most important decisions, D.C. versus Heller, which affirmed that the Second Amendment confers an individual right to keep and bear an arm, keep and bear arms. Well, of course it does. Back in 2007, Mar Judge Garland voted to undo a D.C. Circuit Court decision striking down one of the most restrictive gun laws in the nation. The Liberal District of Columbia government had passed a ban on individual handgun possession even prohibited guns kept in one's own house for self-defense. A three-judge panel struck down the ban, but Judge Garland wanted to reconsider that ruling. He voted with Judge David Paddle, one of the most liberal judges on that court. As Dave Coppell observed at the time, the Tatel and Garland votes were no surprise since they had early signaled their strong hostility to gun owner rights. In a previous case, he in a previous case, had Garland and Tatel won the vote, there was a good chance the Supreme Court would not have had the chance to protect individual rights to bear arms for several more years. Or maybe never. Moreover, in the case mentioned earlier, Garland voted with Tattel to uphold an illegal Clinton area regulation that created an improvised gun registration requirement. Congress prohibited federal gun re registration mandates back in 1968, but as Coppell explained, Clinton administration had been retraining, retaining for six months of records of lawful gun buyers and National Instant Check System. By storing these records, the federal government was creating an informal gun registry that violated 1968 law. Or still, Clinton program even violated 1994 law and created an NICS system in the first place. Congress directly forbade the government from retaining background check records law-abiding citizens, like they care what they're forbidden to do. <sighs> now, there's a statement I want to try and drag up by Merrick Garland, which is rather unbelievable to me. Hang on. Well, what he said is he follows the Constitution to the letter, and that is BS. Here's uh, ABC News. Men and women who sit on the Supreme Court are the final arbiters of law. Obama said in the Rose Garden today, I success selected a nominee who is widely recognized not only as one of America's sharpest legal minds, but someone who brings to work a spirit of decency, modesty, integrity, even handsomeness and excellence. His qualities and his long commitment to public service have given him, earned him the respect and administration of both leaders from both sides of the aisle. He will ultimately bring the same character to bear in the Supreme Court institution where he's uniquely prepared to serve immediately, the president continued. Garland, who choked up at one point, said this is greatest honor of my life for me, there can be no higher public service than serving as a member of the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, 
This guy's a gun hater, so if you value your uh, gun rights, you may wish to have a little talk with your uh, congressman. He is a gun grabber. I don't know about the rest of his policies. I haven't found much else other than his position on gun rights, which is grab him while he can't, still can, basically. I'm Mars, Pax Mars. Thanks for watching.